Okay, so all the pieces are cut. <coughs> I come in, this piece was dry, and uh, did it in two passes. I did the back side first, cut this, and flipped it over and did the front side. It looks like I'm going to flush the woofer, but I'm not. Um, I had to do it this way because of the way the box is, the way the sonotube tube is stepped, and I need, you know, a little bit of meat in there for, uh, the screws are going to go kind of half and half. So anyway, that fits pretty good. And that fits my woofer. It's got about a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. That'll be great when I put carpet on there. It'll The carpet will land just flush. So that's part. Now, <coughs> the port. Did the port calculator. About you can make this out, but basically it ended up being tuned at 52 hertz. So the tube is 0.615 cubic feet. And on Nakamichi, Nakamichi's website, they have an exact chart laid out for a 0.6 cubic foot box for this woofer, which is almost a perfectly flat response, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I don't want the box boomy. I don't want the actual extra bass coming from the box itself. I want to hear only the driver. That's all I want to hear. You know, this is a sound quality thing going from my computer. So anyway, they say run a seven inch port. So I sat down and did the uh, math, and uh, seven inches puts me at 40 hertz. Well, that's pretty good for sound quality. I might could go a little higher if I wanted to. So I said, well, what about traditional, you know, the 31 hertz? So I did it. It looks uh, 12.86. You know, I have to go with a 2-inch port, but, you know, 12.86 inches would give me 31 hertz. Well, I can't do that <clears throat> because the port would end up just like this in the cabinet. Well, more like this, and I can't do that. You know, you have to have at least a diameter of the port from the back of the driver. So if I do that, it would be way too close to the woofer. So I can't do that. Now, don't brag me about PVC pipe. This driver will probably only get about maybe 25 watts. So I'm not going to be pushing the X Max. It's not going to be really throwing a bunch of air out. So I'm not going to have any port noise. I'm not going to have any problems like everyone says. Years ago, this is all we used to use, you know, before the high performance flared ports. So this isn't going to work. So I had to get rid of that and go to a seven inch port. This is exactly what Nakamichi wants on their subwoofer, seven inches long. So I'm going to do it just the way they say. My box is exactly the size that Nakamichi wants, and I'm going to put exactly the port that they want. The problem is that's a 3-inch port, and I need to run a 2-inch port. So I had to make a port shim. And you can get a little creative on how to make these. Um, basically, it's the same way you do any kind of ring. You know, these ended up being stacked together, and uh, <clears throat> basically, I cut one side and cut the other side. So, anyway, you can figure out how to do that. So, this is how it works. This is the port that I need to fill in. So, these two pieces here will get glued together. The port will keep them aligned. It'll go from the back side in to plug the hole. And when I'm done, I have a tight fitting port shim. Okay, and there it is. Got a sub mounted in it. The finish is too rough because they destroyed this cardboard. So I'm very sure that it's going to get carpeted. So I will fill this 
and just kind of knock it off with some Bondo. But uh, this little lip right here, I may wipe it in this whole corner here and body fill that. But <clears throat> other than that, it may just get carpet. I don't. I don't think I want to spend all the hours of sanding that to get it ready for paint. It wouldn't be regular paint. It would be like <coughs> something like this. Make it suede, you know, textured paint. That way you don't have to be so precise on the finish. But at any rate, I'll figure something out. I'm going to take it up uh, to the house and grab some wires off the computer. i got to disassemble my subwoofer out of my computer system to test it because that's what I'm possibly going to drive it with. So we'll see what happens. It may be junk. It may rock. Who knows? We'll find out in just a few minutes. Okay, and there it is. Got a sub mounted in it. The finish is too rough because they destroyed this cardboard. So I'm very sure that it's going to get carpeted. So I will fill this and just kind of knock it off with some Bondo. But uh, this little lip right here, I may wipe it in this whole corner here and body fill that. But <clears throat> other than that, it may just get carpet. I don't, I don't think I want to spend all the hours of sanding that to get it ready for paint. It wouldn't be regular paint. It would be like <coughs> something like this. Make it suede, you know, textured paint. That way you don't have to be so precise on the finish. But at any rate, I'll figure something out. I'm going to take it up uh, to the house and Grab some wires off the computer. I gotta disassemble my subwoofer out of my computer system to test it, because that's what I'm possibly gonna drive it with. So we'll see what happens. It may be junk. It may rock. Who knows? We'll find out in just a few minutes. All right, this thing sounds great. I got the port firing off in the back of the wall there. And I don't know what the wattage is, but it's not very much, but it's like three times louder than it was. That part of the song there is just, I can feel it vibrating the floor. All right, a little quickie. Um, got resin on the tube. Got resin inside the tube. And uh, I've got a little resin left over, so I may coat the outside one more time. I've got probably a friend, my, a friend of mine at the body shop give me some uh, some resin in an old paint can. So uh, there's probably about a good two or three ounces left in there. So I'll use that for a final coat on the outside. Um, I wish I wouldn't have wasted that resin. There's four ounces that I could have used, but I just overestimated. So, but anyhow... So I'm going to let that dry. It's kind of cold tonight. It's not too bad. So I'll let that dry. I'll come in, scuff it down, and uh, put another layer of resin on top of it, probably inside and out, and then it'll be uh, ready to start doing something to All right, this is the last part of the video. There's my sauna tube coated in resin. A few little places I had to sand down. It was a little rough, but... uh I hadn't decided whether I'm going to paint it or carpet it. Probably carpet. That's the easiest. But I just wanted to finish the video and put it back in place while I figure out what I'm going to do.